Hello and welcome to 60 Seconds with Sergio. I am your host, Sergio Cabanas, attorney at law here in South Florida. Thank you for joining me today. Today's question is, Sergio, what exactly is the difference between a contested versus a non-contested or uncontested divorce? Well, that's a very good question and it's a very important one. I found a very funny cartoon that helps explain this distinction. Here you'll see a cartoon that shows a husband in court with his lawyer, apparently sitting in front of a judge. And then you see this huge tank burst through the wall that's being driven uh, by the wife. And you see the husband's lawyer turning to the husband saying, I thought you said your wife was not contesting this divorce. So obviously she's there to do war and it's gonna be contested. The point of the cartoon, other than being a little funny, is the fact that a contested divorce, it's much more stressful, difficult, contentious, and makes it more difficult for all the parties involved versus an uncontested divorce where the people reach an amicable agreement. So the best way of answering this question is that we have to look at the divorce process itself. The divorce process is a judicial or a court proceeding that terminates the marriage but it also resolves all the issues relating to the marriage, such as the separation and division of marital assets between the spouses, in addition to resolving issues like alimony and the issues relating to the children, such as custody or time sharing and child support, etc. If the parties are able to reach an agreement on all of these issues and enter into a settlement agreement that's signed, then that paves the way for everybody to file what's called an uncontested divorce, where it's a mere formality and you go to court and you get a final judgment that terminates the marriage and incorporates these terms and conditions in the divorce itself. Whereas a contested divorce is where the parties are not able to reach an agreement. Sometimes it's because they don't really know how to reach an agreement, they haven't even addressed the issue, or the other extreme is that they adamantly refuse to settle under any circumstances. Now that doesn't necessarily mean you can't reach an agreement later, it is still possible and often it's important to find an attorney that will have your best interest in heart. You see, the key in this case, and in most legal cases, but especially in divorce cases, is being able to reach an agreement. And hopefully you'll avoid your spouse showing up in court with a tank ready to do battle. So I hope this short video helps explain what could be a very complicated area of the law. This is not a substitution for an actual consultation with an attorney who could sit down with you and review the specific facts of your case. Thank you again for joining me. And as always, stay informed so you can stay strong.